welcome back to Shannon's Plants Planting Time. How are you today? Today we are going to do a quick little video on how to remove your plant from glued rocks. Now this is a no-no. No plant should be in glued rocks. You can't get to the soil. You can't check to see if it needs water. There's just so many things that are so wrong with this. So we're gonna try to just dig this out. And I've done one before and it just depends on how glued the rocks are. And boy, these are in there. I can tell you that. I might have to get another tool. Don't want to damage the plant. But I definitely want to get to the um, soil um, I had to do my cactus this way um, always want to be careful not to hurt yourself because I am using a knife even though it's a butter knife and we are going to free this little lucky bamboo um from these rocks really no plant should be placed in something like this i know it's for aesthetic purposes but i think he will be happier if these rocks are not glued in here boy they go way down too um my coral cactus was done like that. You see this a lot at big box stores. Um, not so much at plant nurseries. There's got to be so little dirt soil in this. And now I'm getting to the soil. And see the soil is very wet. Which, if you know anything about bamboo... They don't really like that, so um, I don't know where I thought I might plant him up with my other bamboo, put him in there. Lately, he's been hanging out in my room in my south facing window. Seems to be pretty happy. I bought him with the intentions of freeing him. So today I thought, well, maybe I'll just get around to doing that. Rocks are flying everywhere. I hope you can hear me over the crunch. Oh, definitely have to vacuum after this one. There's like a big chunk here. Oh, um, wow, this one's really glued in here. My, um, thank goodness my coral cactus was just barely, barely in there with the rocks. So he was easy to free. This one's a little bit more. There, you can see how little of a cup he's in. So, gonna, and that's sopping wet. I mean, sopping wet. That's just a setup for a root rod. It's a cute little, little plug cup, but it's got water at the bottom of it. You can't see it, but it's, it's holding water at the bottom. Now if you were to drill a hole in that it would be fine to put him back in it. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put him in a different one with some different soil. This is a very seems like a very peat based seedling seedling starter um, soil holds a lot of moisture so we'll get some of this off 
and then pot him up in a new pot with drainage holes. So there he is. I'll just lean him like that. Here's the pot I have. It's a lot bigger than the one he was in. I don't necessarily think he needs that big pot, but that's what I've got available right here, and it does have drainage holes. So I'm going to scoop out my soil. If you have any questions about how I mix my soil, I have a video on it. I will put it in the playlist. Um, I use it for most everything because it's just a very universal type soil. Nice for um, all kinds of plants. So place him in the middle. If you can see what I'm doing. I'm just putting him in the middle and I'm going in and back filling. Just wanted to do a little short July 4th video because I figure you will all be barbecuing and eating and gathering now that everybody's getting you know what and everybody's able to get together I think people are going to have a good time this July 4th and I hope everything goes well with it so there now we have him potted up it looks a little crooked. There you go. Here. I haven't needed to pack it down more right there. Um, but anyway, I hope you have a good July 4th. I am not doing anything. Um, not even grilling at home. Just having a very low key July 4th with my fiance, my dogs, and my plants. And now I have a happy, lucky bamboo, and I'm gonna go put him back in his place in my room. So thanks for tuning in. That was pretty easy. Um, free your plants from glued rocks and I hope to see you in the next houseplant video. Bye.